So I want to get a taste of the total recall. I know you say the total recall will be a presentation sector by sector of the government's plans, but if you can give me a quick, you know, you know, a quick discussion of what you had in the 2020 manifesto, the big push, what is that? There's, there's the conversation around a golden triangle and a lot of my listeners are interested in knowing what a golden triangle is. So if you can break that down and what is, what is the whole inspiration behind that? How is this going to transform Ghana? And you how see, would this kind of work again? Yeah. God, God being so good, mm-hmm. I think uh, our manifesto was really thought through. Mm-hmm. In Western region, His Excellency John Ramani Mahama said that this document is a public document now. We can offer mm-hmm. it to the NPP if they want to use it. We can offer it to them because it's 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 it was a professional work that was done across all sectors of this country, and mm-hmm. the big push was something that we intended to be able to solve the issue of unemployment in this country. And if you look at the amount of money that we had voted that if we had been in office today, we were going to invest in it. We wouldn't be where we are today. Sometimes uh, I I feel very sad, you know, uh, how we vote in Ghana. Uh, Sorry to uh, deviate a little or... uh, uh, um, When it comes to manifesto by manifesto, Mm -hmm. projects by projects, but there's two administrations. You can never, you can never choose MPP over LDC. Mm-hmm. If not because of our traditional beliefs, and, and then uh, 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 I don't know, I don't know how to uh, uh, say, it, but somebody mm-hmm. will say that I was born into this uh, party, I was born into this region, born into this clan. So we, even if we are dying we belong to the left or we belong to the right. Not looking at opportunities available to you. So this has been some of our difficulty. When you look at our manifesto, for instance, on the issue of um, licensing this uh, Okada drivers, today in Ghana, uh, uh, riders, I should say, today in Ghana, the MPP failed these people. We said that we're going to give you a better opportunity than what the NDC is offering you. We are going to give you um, cars and all those things so that you pack the Okada, use it, and all those. One year down the line, mm-hmm. today, because of the armed robbery, the level of armed robbery in Ghana today, mm-hmm. now motor riders are being arrested at random mm-hmm. as if it is a crime. For you to sit right. on a bike to work, you 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 you, you get what I mean. So right. these were the people that were promised, and then going uh, to the reality, these are the people that you are uh, charging on them and then arresting them. However, we proposed that we are going to have a commercial plate for these motorbikes. We are going to have private like it does for commercial cars and then Mm -hmm. private cars in Ghana so that you can differentiate between the two. Then Mm -hmm. there are rules and levels of training that we are going to give to them and all that so that they'll be professional in the activities following the uh, 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 um, traffic regulations. Among One of the things that I I will say that today no, no motor rider respects our traffic regulations in Ghana. If, mm-hmm. you, if, if, if you are in traffic and you see the way that they are driving and all those things. But these are some of the things that we were going to cure mm-hmm. with the proposals that we had given to, to them with training down. and all those things. If you want right. to uh, uh, stay in this business, these are some of the things that you need to uh, uh, follow. Right. We we offered, we, uh, how they call it, we proposed that we're going to have two uh, gold refineries in Ghana mm-hmm. where we uh, since uh, the time of Cottesbeck 
-hmm. we have been uh, uh, um, sending our gold to uh, uh, outside this country in their raw state. Mm -hmm. We have never thought through it to, you know, start our refinery in Ghana. We stated mm -hmm. clearly that this, we are going to have two refineries in Ghana in uh, one in the eastern region and then one in Ashanti region where uh, predominantly we have a lot of our gold uh, uh, um, being, uh, how do you call it? Uh, uh, um, where well, we have our gold deposit. Mm -hmm. Yes, gold deposit, that we have our gold being mined. We are going mm -hmm. to have two, uh, how do you call it, uh, refineries there. We're also going to go into our, uh, how do you call it, the products, um, uh, production of our bauxite in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, these proposals were offered to uh, by M MPP to this Chinese government, where they took Ibrahim's, uh, how do you call it, Ibrahim Mohammed's, uh, 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 how do you call it, Hinehini, Hinehini, uh, 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 um, bauxite, mm -hmm. uh, how do you call it, award was taken from him. You know, right. and was offered to Chinese for uh, um, unexpected money that never came. Two billion dollars right. that never came. You understand? And mm -hmm. these were some of the things that we were proposing to be able to uh, absorb our youth, give them, um, uh, get them employed, and all those things. Earlier mm -hmm. in our discussion, I t I spoke about this. Um, rice meal and all that that we established right. and because we had a mindset that mm -hmm. we are going to cut down the importations of um some of these things and right. we have the capacity to mm -hmm. be able to produce them in ghana just right. that we need to be committed to it as a country right what is needed is our commitment mm -hmm. for instance um, during His Excellency John Dramani Mohammed's uh, administration, mm -hmm. we decided that there are some drugs in Ghana. Uh, there are drugs that we import to Ghana, right. like HIV drugs and all that. Mm -hmm. We need to stop uh, importing them and to start mm -hmm. producing them in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So what we did was to empower uh, uh, Kama Pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dana Dams and all mm -hmm. those things. Today, these drugs that we used to be importing, mm -hmm. today we are exporting them to uh, 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 um, our neighboring countries in Ghana. And these yeah. are some of the commitments that we we would we we, we would be uh, uh, embarking on come twenty twenty five. And um, mm -hmm. the total the total recall. The total recall is going to comprise both the things, and it's going to be in two folds. Mm -hmm. Where our manifesto was going to place Ghana. Right. And where the MPP administration is living now. with now. Okay. Do you understand? So, right. so it's so you this can where see. we left off. Mm -hmm. Where we left off. Then again, uh, what is happening now and mm -hmm. where we have proposed to have taken Ghana. So these mm -hmm. are the total recall that we are going to do and we are going to do it sector by, by sector. We'll pick mm -hmm. aviation. We'll pick mm -hmm. railway. What we're doing with uh, 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 aviation. Mm -hmm. The number of um, airports that we're able to establish, plants that we had for mm -hmm. these uh, airport right. and uh, the railway where we took our railway from where it is going and the plants that right. we had for our railway sector. Then again, we move into the road sector where mm -hmm. the, we were doing the cocoa roads, the state of our cocoa roads mm -hmm. now under the MPP administration where how we budgeted for cocoa roads and and all that, and where mm -hmm. we're taking them to. So right. these were going to, like, and then the uh, issues about electric uh, electrification. We've right. been able to 
uh, pushed to um, is it 92 or 93 percent uh, 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 um, of coverage? Coverage, you understand? And unfortunately, mm-hmm. the the NPP have done absolutely nothing to mm-hmm. add up to it. You know, right. so the proposals we had and how we intend to execute it, you know, and all the sectors uh, 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 of our, uh, 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 how do you call it, our economy, you right. know. So um, this this is something that honestly you don't, you don't, you can't miss for anything. You can't miss yeah, for, And that is going to be day two. Mm-hmm. It's going to be day two, day two of the conference. That one will be right. a total record. Right. Well, yeah, definitely we would not we would not want to meet, miss that at all. And just uh, to quickly say that the coverage area, the goal was that we were supposed to have electricity coverage area of 100% by 2020 and we mixed that. Yes. Uh just yes. Uh, so so yeah, so um we definitely and, and, don't and that was it. and that was part of our agenda 2020 that was started uh by his excellency uh, Fly Lieutenant General John Rawlings, may his soul rest in perfect peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May his soul rest in peace.